All right, a new recording has begun. We're back to the Rimworld zombie 500% no pause. I never left run. Hey, oh, you never left. Uh, all right, so we just got a new person, Lost Space Man. We're gonna get that assault rifle. I gotta make sure I get these components. Uh, we just don't want them to deteriorate. Unfortunately, it's raining. We might just go up there in the rain and get those. That'll be fine. We don't need to go mine, so we'll just we'll just grab small group and head up that way uh, I'll put alpaca on unrestricted I do think I am gonna change those doors okay it's pretty good keyword you feel brand new new 100 days zombies no <laughs> I'm not gonna do that crap I survived a hundred days on a Rimworld zombie planet, and this is what happened. Yeah, here. Anyway, uh, we're back. We're back. Get those components. All right, Glenn, get back inside. Glenn. Glenn's not even a real name. The great guest streamer should invite it more. Yeah, that's a good idea. Day one, I'm holding a bow on the left side. On the right side, I have cataphract armor. Or the algorithm. Anyway. Uh, let's continue. All right, we got some... Uh, yeah, I could have grabbed that rhino while I was there too, huh? I didn't think about it. Think about it. Hey, I hear you. Where are you? Yeah, you little jerk. We're getting ding dong ditched again. Have you guys seen the list of what ding dong ditch is called in other countries? Some of them is just, it's just absurd. I don't even know. I mean, at least ding dong ditch kind of makes sense, you know? Multiplayer mod? I'm not playing multiplayer, no. Oh, man. Stream prejudice. Reality D100, they're still researching guns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually tempted to try some more of those uh, joint events. The countries have absurd names. That's right. Ding dong ditch makes sense, right? You you ring the bell. The, the bell set, makes the ding dong sound. And then you you you, you, you ditch. You, you head on out. <laughs> you move. You run away. But there's some really weird names. Some that make more sense. Knock knock ginger. Yeah, see what the crap is knock knock ginger. Real fake doors through. Three means a bell prank. Yeah, that one makes the most sense. Bell prank. That one makes the most sense, I would say. Alright. Food is a little bit better now. Really am tempted to do another one of those. They actually made it through. Like, the zombies are relatively spread out at the moment. Ring and run it would be two on the nose as well. Uh-oh. Video's ending. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell button. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to remove those, uh, those roof. The time of the wooden outer wall is long, long gone, so. Long gone, Silver. Yeah, it's really weird. Knock, knock, Ginger? What? Knock down, Ginger? I forgot what you call it in Belgium. What? Knock, door, and run away? Very creative. Very creative, yeah. Knock a door, run where you live. <laughs> the ginger reference is from a poem, you think? Hmm. You've heard it called Chappie? Heard that. Okay. Interesting. Ever heard of that term before? All right, let's see that cleaned up. Bell pool where you are. Bell pool. 
Oh no. All scythers. Um, can we kite all scythers? If it's daytime, we could probably kite all scythers at this stage. Oh god, I thought another raid was coming or something. Um, Spaceman! Alright, you can be your name. Oops, all scythers. You're the most morally wise person you know in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I am the most morally wise person in RimWorld, for sure. Aside from those times that I use my platform to uh, promote cannibalism or whatever. Can we go back to Sleepy Randy? Yeah. He found the mech button. Mechs. Mechs. That's right, the vegan agenda. Next thing you know, I'm going to like tofu. <laughs> what the crap was that? <laughs> A war crime. So weird. So, so weird. Uh, we have so much stuff to do. So we need to wait until those are split up. Hopefully they get split up with which zombies they're going after and we can just go out and kill like two or three at a time. I watched too much of the good guy run. Here I am drinking soy milk. <laughs> Crazy. They're 65 year old. Sacrifice them. There's an exploding zombie like really close to our base. <gasps> Masterwork assault rifle. Yes. For anyone that doesn't know, as your weapons get higher quality, the main thing that increases is your oop, is the accuracy, but at Masterwork, it actually gets more damage. Masterwork and Legendary. This weapon bears a betrayal of a solitary centipede seen through a looking glass near a hamlet. The subjects are in front of a settlement. Yeah, we, we got that with the hamlet. The image contrasts depression with bloodshed. Do the secret sauce. That's right. That's right. Hey, the centipede's outside of a hamlet. That's a settlement if you don't know. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Excellent. Sucks to be you, kid. That's right. As the noise assault rifle has been an issue, I didn't go out when we only had one or two, so I think we have a little bit... We are right at, like, overwhelming firepower for zombies, for groups of zombies. Hey, those scythers are going to clear this map a bit. And then we'll be able to get some more recruits. You know, charge lance rifles? No. Charge lances are awful. And charge rifles don't have enough range. No. No plans to go past assault rifles. I miss the days when charge lances were were incredible, but yeah, they're pretty bad. Pretty bad. They got they've gotten nerfed so much. For anyone that wasn't around back in Alpha, there was a time in Alpha when charge lances were like 60 range or something. And super accurate. So you could actually set up a tunnel like this. Like literally like this. And have your people stand indoors here with charge lances and then just beam people. So obviously they needed kind of reworked from that, but they've been redone so many times. And the, and the really weird thing is they're supposed to be like charged snipers, but they actually have barely more range than a charge rifle. I mean, assault rifles outrange charge lances. It's kind of absurd. For those days, yeah, it was really fun. I'm sure they're, they're probably a mod that puts it back how they were, but kind of was headshot by a Lancer. Hasn't stopped nerfing them since. Yeah. <laughs> And those scythers helping out a lot. Look at that. We just need these to, to split up a little bit more. Like these ones are, uh, are good, but <laughs> look how much they're clearing the map. It's concentrating the zombies down there. I 
have to start growing some corn. It's, uh, we have a lot of growers, though, actually. Left your base. Instantly lost an arm from mech crossing the map. Yeah. Yeah, I remember getting headshot all the time. By Lancers. You two, every time you heard the Lancer shot, you and you got a notification, you know, that someone was hurt or whatever, you pretty much figured they were dead or going to die. Even just hearing the shot was really scary back then. Your Lancer blast. Oh, God. Where? Where could they be? Hey, go get scanning done. And I really wish that group would... Uh, split up. I don't think they're going to. Can we just leave them here forever? <laughs> Bunk, there is one. Man, they are absolutely destroying these. Wow. Clear the mat. Uh, we need a Mechanidor with, uh, with trained Scythers. Eventually, there's going to be no zombies for them to go after, though, right? Oh. You guys take damage from that? Nope, we're fine. The thing is, if I did a join thing and the Scythers came after... But man, maybe they're, maybe they're distracted enough. Hmm. The 50 50 chance. Let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I know the worst that could happen. Let's go. Get a join. Way to go, Scythers. Way to go. There goes the beautiful lanterns. Worst thing could happen adaption factor. 50 50 chance of success and a 50 50 chance of that success to. Unimpressive medical treatment. What? Oh. Person derided Zush's value as a human. You ruined the festival, you subhuman founding father haircut jerk. Man, he's really getting into that whole body. Hey, makers all the way. You're the worst lantern launcher I've ever seen. What'd you say to me? I've been launching lanterns since I was a kid. You've been doing it wrong. Hey, can you guys scan more steel? That would be... That would be fantastic. And your launchers brought us to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just going crazy. Uh oh. So the downside with them wiping some things out is that new zombies are able to spawn. And where there wasn't breacher zombies before, there are now breacher zombies on the map. So... Let's see. We gotta be really careful. I don't know if the Scythers will like beeline to us now that we're out. Um. Nope. Transport pod. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah, man. They're just really busy with the. Uh... So our biggest threat, I guess, is sappers and. Breachers? And sieges? Drop pods? Wow, cactus. You couldn't have just aimed to the left a little bit. Alright, well. 
Cool. We have a Scyther cleanup crew out there. We're fine. So they're going to either keep killing until nine days when <laughs> there's no zombies to kill or until something else comes in and kills them. Oh, yeah, we can't get to him, though. No, there's Scythers down there, zombies everywhere. All right, well. Guess we're not getting that steel anytime soon. We have a little bit of steel we can grab there. Might as well do it. Uh, let's make sure we outlaw these doors. And then I can put them on work zone. We can go get that stuff. All right, can any of you guys get out? Oh, you're good. And also, now that we're breeding husky puppies, we have uh, animal corpses to produce more of the serum. I don't see anything wrong with that. God. We're raising puppies in order to kill. To make serum. You monster. Anyway, uh, what was your question about uh, my moral thought on uh, something RimWorld related or something Smurf? Hmm. My RimWorld runs only option for new people is growth vets. I just noticed that your starting colonists are essentially Adam and Eve, and Adam's mom. Did I make one or two growth vets? Uh, I would make one. I would make one. Three. <laughs> I would make one because I wouldn't want the, the like, well, I guess it depends. I guess it depends. You know what? Better better go with two. <clears throat> anyway, wait, am I the Adam in this situation? Changes a little bit. Am I the Adam in this Adam and Eve scenario? One growth vet. Por favor. Open from both. Eve and his mom. Then you notice your moral dilemma. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, classic. <laughs> Is that a good hey a ship? Good ship. Hmm. What you guys got? Happy and strong stomach. Purple, cream, very attractive. Hyper aggressive. Specialized limbs. We're going to need some gold pretty soon, but we already saw on the map where there is some gold, so... Bionic spine. Hmm. Zombie children's story now? No. <laughs> Bionic spine is interesting too because we do have someone that has uh, a bad back. But we don't have a great doctor or a great medicine for it or a hospital bed. So if we fail the surgery, that'd be pretty, pretty terrible. I do need the telescope. Should probably get more advanced components while they're here. Yeah, that's what we should get. Okay. Coming out thin rock roof instead of mountain. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Where? Cactus. How are those scythers doing? Oh god, there's another breacher coming. Who knows? The side here is just out there. They're actually divided up. We can go kill them. He's gonna kill them install Max Spine. <laughs> it's risky, risky. Risky, risky. It can work, though. I 
cactus. Can't help it that... Well, I could have. I was going to say, I can't help it that I didn't save you. Manhunters? There's going to be, like, no zombies left. <laughs> Hang on. The Mega Sloth and the Scythers are fighting each other over who gets to kill zombies. Uh, I think the Mega Sloth is going to win this one. Adam versus zombies versus mechs versus sloths. <laughs> uh. Did I accidentally buy a TV instead of a telescope? I did. I was clicking quickly and I accidentally bought a TV. <laughs> oh well. Never just accidentally buy a TV. Yeah, yeah. Actually. That's what feeling getting scammed feels like, yeah. Well, I mean I guess we will install the TV. I don't suppose. There you go. Have fun. Yeah, I know the huskies are out. That's okay. Nice law shouldn't attack them unless they are like in melee with each other. So I guess I could just let them in either way though, right? That's fine. Let them in. Oh my God. These lot picking zombies. Got us again, that lock picking zombie. Hmm. Where are you now? Christ's sake. What? Uh. Get him. <laughs> when just all described. Nice. Thanks, Ocean. That's the way it should be, you know. <laughs> Playing D and D. Or to die. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. All right, well, uh, we'll see. Man, the sloths, there's another breacher zombie. That's not, that's one of the problems with having these clearing out the zombies is like new, better zombies are spawning. Some flagstone maybe. Uh, we are gonna remove the roof now. Yeah, it, the roof was just left over from when we only had wooden walls. So at that time I didn't have any other options. Didn't really have any other options when I did that. But we haven't had a chance to go out and remove the roof. It's already queued up to remove the roof, but I've not had a chance yet. Combat command, so good. We have really good shooters now, too. That's one of the things about having so many zombies go out and kill. We don't have any, uh, any lack of shooting experience, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I do plan on getting some turrets, but I've been having to be really cautious about how I spend, uh, components. Oh my god, I didn't realize that one was still there. I'd be really cautious how I spend components. We can't make our own yet. We can't routinely go trade or anything. Did we actually kill that one in one volley? I guess we did. Yeah, I would like to have a turret on each side at least. Another scan, not steel. Man, we're getting really uh, 
Not super lucky on scans. Not super lucky on scans this time. Taking long to get the scans and uh, we're not scanning very much steel. Steel we have scanned is not very close. Nap just now. Destroy. You will get a chance to get them back unless unless they died off map. Were they injured enough to die? You can actually check someone's uh, mood and see if it says you've lost a colonist. But if they lived, you will have a chance to get them back. So keep an eye out for their name. Hey, you're running easy mining for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little. Just a little. Just a small zombie invasion. We're only, uh, in like our fifth season or something. Last steel. Gold. Hey, it must have heard me. Oh, here's your skin, sir. Also far away, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you if you see my games uh, late in the playthroughs, like a whole friggin map is green with stuff because I try to start scanning a lot and early so that we'll eventually have just whatever we need within within walls. And Faluda, welcome in. Raktar, welcome in. I can't believe those are still just... Look at that. Slaw, they're still... Wreaking Havoc. Are there still Scythers? Yep. I just pan around until I hear... Scyther Blades. A Scyther has 52 kills already. Just that one Scyther. Where you go, Scyther, I guess. Okay, uh, we still have very little steel. Starting to mine what little we can over here without causing this to be an opening. I have to be careful about this as well. Because we don't want the spitter to be able to shoot through that. No bugs yet over there. Probably gonna happen eventually, though. And under animal the other day. Less than, yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty close, actually. Like on one of the foxes or whatever. That Megasloth has 73 kills. Definitely the most kills I've seen on Mega Sloth. Definitely did. Uh, Mr. Esso, thank you for the uh, month. Thank you, Mr. Esso. And Uncle Jay, thank you for the 69 bits. Thank you, Uncle Jay. That's just one of them, man. Un haunted, haunted Mortar can aim at a standard roof tile. Hit it, and the explosion can go into nearby mountain cells. The thing about it is the spitter is super accurate. Yeah. The spitter is really, really accurate, so it doesn't even look like it's it's missing close by. It, like, really hits right on top of them. So we're probably fine if we stand, like, here, but it might be something to keep in mind either way. Yeah. I know we talked about that with uh, mountain bases before. We were just mentioning. You and I have talked about it. Just react and not target the animals directly, at least defend themselves. Uh, I'm not sure because it started with the setting. The reason why we turned um, the zombies off from attacking animals is it was constant battle music like this, actually. And we just kept getting pop ups of animal revenge to zombies just nonstop. So we ended up turning it off, but. My pack room. Uh, no, not quite yet. Yeah. Just filling in, yeah. Just filling in for now. A little bit of seal. There are two in there. One was target, one was react. Okay. Might have to look for the react one. Just 
Oh god. Ugh. Friggin' zombie. Friggin' key zombies. Who's doing good now? Okay. <laughs> Man. Now that we've added all these doors, too, it's... And crazy we just never really know i mean i could go ahead we have bought quite a few components now i could go ahead and just like oh crap i didn't i didn't make the mortar <laughs> hold that thought i have something uh more important to make for now and i can't believe uh forgot that I could have been fatal. Still could, and we're not, we're not done with it yet. All right. I uh, definitely need more steel, though. Scan jade. That's not what we need. Not what we need. Uh, we finished the multi analyzer research. Uh, you know what? Let's leave them off the research right now. They can just work on scanning if they, if they have any research time. We'll put the game fuel storage there. Maybe not a great idea. Royal tribute collector. All right. Give me some more zombies. It's not a good ships. Way more ships today than yesterday. Probably like our fifth ship today or something. Okay, what do you guys got? Brain wiring, specialized limbs, good hardening, facial ridges, and unisex beards. <laughs> Heat tolerant, psychically deaf, pain dull, bald. Um, I actually get the telescope, but I'm not gonna worry about it now. We can just get some more components. We're going to need a lot of them. Enough. Need to buy gold? No, because we have some right down here. We're just going to go mine that for the... Uh, for the analyzer. Oops, another TV. <laughs> yeah, we're really far away from getting side casting, unfortunately. I actually thought I was going to go for side casting in this uh, with, with like royal stuff, but it's like next to impossible to have prisoners and have gold to trade for this these people, you know. And then might end up turning. A lot of puppies. Wait, you guys buy puppies? Uh, no. no. We need to bolt goods for that. Yeah, I was originally thinking about going with uh, royalty. That way we didn't have to build a big ship, but... I don't know, escaping. We're probably gonna have to build a big ship. Puppy to television ratio. <laughs> Steel! Ugh. They're not close enough. Welcome back. It's almost we might out. We should probably check here too. I mean, it's possible there's a little bit of steel there. Unlikely. Maybe maybe components though. All right. Uh, make kin fuel from organic to until we have X. We're gonna keep uh, like a hundred in store. Security. Let's get our mortars set up. On Jenna, welcome back. Ten months, double digits, double digits. Thank you, Jenna, very much appreciated. 
Double digits. Are, like, are there still Scythers out there? There's at least one Scyther. Yeah, Rainy's been pretty sleepy, yeah. Yes, that's another reason we haven't really been able to get any prisoners. Then Jerry might even be okay in this run, yeah. I'm actually curious if the uh the sound of the mortars hitting will attract zombies. Let's go with high explosive incendiary there. Any shells there. Like recently, the number of human raid chance. Scan steel. Hey, we can actually get that one. Not a great place, but we could get it. We can get it. It's so weird filling in thin rock roof instead. Completely opposite than normal. Try one of the room shockers. Not yet. No, I do want to build one. But again, I'm being really conservative about um about what I spend my components on until we can make our own spitter. Spitter, aggressive, seven waves. All right, go, go. Uh, we don't have that filled in yet. Crap. Already aggressive. Seven waves of zombies. This is gonna get filled up. Hmm. Anything sign affecting zombies? I'm not sure. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like that yet. Okay, so we have an opening back there. That's kind of. Let's get farish away from it. I think we can get a shot off. There they go. They're actually shooting at the Empire first. Nice. Look at that, man. Never mind. They're shooting in our base. Funk, funk. Uh, if we had a mountain base, bit of raids, yeah, would do basically nothing. Look at that. Funk. <laughs> There's gonna be so many zombies inside the wall. Look at the dogs, they're just like, eh. Alright, dogs, I want you to hold that door open. God, there's gonna be so many. How many more, man? It's still got three more waves. We gotta get that shocker and stuff set up. Oh my god. Well. We almost done? Two more waves. Good lord. Thank goodness for this little mountain pocket here. We would be so screwed. I'm just staying in the barracks right now. We'd just be completely, completely screwed. It's been a really good time to have that thumper thing, actually. Come think of it. But it said the thumper hurts stuff around it, so I bet it'll destroy our buildings. Oh, Lord. There's a miner zombie in there, too. Can you head out? All right, it's heading out. So many zombies.
Um. Yeah, we'll just rebuild the door. Screw it. Do we have enough firepower to kill that mini? If we just poke through the door right now? Maybe. Guess we gotta try it. I think the fire's probably gonna turn as well. We actually missed a lot of shots there. What? Thought we were a little bit more accurate than that. Oh, this crap we have to clean up. My lord. Uh, we need to put everyone on doctoring so we can get some uh, serum from this, hopefully. Okay, how many are left? There's quite a few over here still. Oh god. <laughs> Small misclick could have cost me there. So that means it can spit explosive ones. So it can spit um, special zombies. Man, if it spit an explosive zombie in the middle of our barracks, I would... Uh, not be good. All right, is that everything right now? We have some that are trying to break down doors. Um, now that we got those up, we need to. Well, I need to get this clean. Uh, I want to get those. What? Where are the dogs? The dogs got friendly fired. Wait, there's a freaking breacher zombie. I didn't even notice. All right. Well, at least he doesn't have a group with him, so it should be all right. Need your break. Yeah, yeah. Wall back up. There's, I think there's still scythers and stuff too. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> there's a scyther on his way to the base. Oh. oh. I somehow know that there's a single tile door open now. Or wall. I think I didn't just set that and forget it. Uh. Okay. Scyther sins. Poor puppy. All right, we gotta clean this up. The barracks is not giving a mood debuff. Yeah, way to go, Scyther. Clean up those zombies that are outside the doors. He's on our team now. Seems like he was having trouble hitting that one. It's like dancing around. Yeah. What an experience. Yeah, I think Mex would be really good. Yeah. Uh, if we end up having time, we're not even to the point where we can make our own uh, back. Your steadfast loyalty our own components yet, cheated. but.
components. Uh, it's where the trade ships seem to drop stuff. I don't know why. Uh, Dolorifers. Two months. Two months. Our anniversary already. You dull. Chasm. Here are the nine months. A Twitch baby. Almost full calendar year. That's right. Both of those are true. Way to go, Scyther. Way to go. Is he the last of the Scyther? He's the last Scyther. Megasloss killed all the others, I think. Uh, yes. They have to be within range of... The mechs would have to be within range of the Mechanitor, yeah. Okay, uh... When are we going to be able to try to do another festival? Five days. Becky? Come rescue Becky? I don't think so. I don't think so. Man, we really need... Well, I can get that steel there. It's a ways away, though. Their age is comedy golds. Save everyone. I mean, we literally can't go there. Yeah. We, we can't. No, there's no, uh, there's no lull at the moment. There's 500 zombies. I was before I knew what the mod was at all. When I was, I was like, we're going to try to save every single person that calls for help. Like I would like to, I would love to have that another colonist, but. Yeah, to draft them, to, to control them. Have to be inside that, um, the range of the Mechanitor, yeah. Beer cluster. Three star mech cluster. With a droner. Speaking of mech stuff. No rewards worth it for that. <laughs> Scyther's just... He's having trouble hitting them sometimes. You see him? He's just like... Is there moving costly? Oh, which door? get that set up i wonder which scyther ended up having the the loot from that doesn't know they added a long time ago actually maybe even like 1.2 uh every raid one of the units even on a mech raid is carrying like a reward and with mechs a lot of times it's it's components components are plasteel but who friggin knows where all those scythers died who knows it's a mess All right, another breacher gathering up down there. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Careful there. Corpses. Yeah. yeah. Unless there was over 200, but there's, there was none. There's another breacher coming. He hasn't gathered as many up yet, but I do see him gathering. Soren, I think you're dead. 
We gotta start making some progress though. Because like I said, or like we were talking about earlier, the planet killer is active and it seems like it's a long way off, but you know, as tribal, we're a, we're a long way off for getting uh, like ship research or anything like that done. Congrats is due to your map size. It's uh, Mockog Camera Plus. Camera Plus. Camera Plus does that. Uh, if you want my... I don't like the default Camera Plus settings. If you want my Camera Plus settings, uh, there's a command, Exclamation Cam Plus, I think it is. Exclamation Cam Plus. Uh, but yeah, that's Camera Plus. Well, if there were components dropped somewhere, they're probably already gone. Oh, it was Blasteel. Okay. There it is. Cam Plus. We got around to... Yeah, yeah it's been uh, it's been really interesting. As, uh, yes, the dog, yeah. That's the dog that's missing some uh, body parts now. Oh, I never set up rules for this. Let's go ahead and go up to two, and then I'll set the rules. Okay. Open for a good steal scan. It's closer than that one. I might still go ahead and start working on that, though. Book of Hours when it releases next Tuesday? I have no idea what that is. Yes, I'm not sure. You can always uh, post the game in the Discord if you want, and I can take a look, but... Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'd have to look. A lot of puppies. We need, uh, we need bolt goods. I can't believe that scythe are still out there. I was talking about one reason we, uh, we turned off the zombies versus animals was so that we didn't have battle music nonstop. I guess I should just go kill him. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. 78 kills right now. 78 kills. One of those out there. I'm doing my part. Yeah, Scyther's doing his part, all right. I think it's actually worse than if we just let them spawn. I think I'm gonna go kill him. Cause he is clearing out zombies. And then what happens is it opens up more space on the map for new zombies to spawn and we're getting more breachers from it, so. So we have the mortars we need to set up. We don't, ooh, compact steel meteorite. Where? Hey, nice. Excellent. All right, well, let's get our uh, shells made then. Make, uh, let's go with explosive. High explosive shells. Do until we have 20 should be enough for it for now. Okay, and then we're gonna make uh, EMP shells. Do until we have. Let's go with five. Okay. Let's get that done. Uh, and then. Maybe we can finally get freaking helmets. Work outside walls. Yeah, it's it's fine. I set them to uh to be allowed to. Should be fun. Now that the scythers are done. Saying on a care in the world. He's getting rid of roof. Yeah. He's, he's doing his part as well. Mm -hmm. 
Three minutes. This allows more animal spawns. X to the escape room. Not attracted to you. It's just far away. Like, we'll, we'll probably do it when we really need it. But it would just be nicer to not have to spend as much time going there and hauling and that kind of stuff. So we will we will get it, especially if we don't scan anything else. But obviously, it would be better to have something in here. You can react faster to, like, insect spawns and stuff in here as well. So these should get made. Pretty soon. And we got that steel meter. That was really good. Really good. I like how now that they have the assault rifles, when a like stray zombie comes by, I just pop it. It's done. Source of commerce to still be worth it. Never feel like the work invested is worth the silver outputs and increase in wealth in your runs. So if you're just trying to get the most profit possible and don't care about anything else, like making making flake is worth it. Making flake is worth it if you're just looking for profit. For me, though, when I make the, the drugs, I try to make things that we're also going to use in the colony and that I don't mind if someone gets addicted to or if they get, you know, a drug binge or whatever. I can just have people use it in general as well. Um, so I like to use like Psychite Tea, for instance, is my favorite one. It doesn't sell for as much, but it's something that's helping your colony. Now, as far as like the extra wealth, as long as you are trading that wealth when it's done for, for wealth that defends itself, then it's it's going to be net positive anyway, right? So if you're making a uh, flake and you end up trading that off for things to make better guns or armor or you know more pawns or whatever. Do I need fuel for shells? I do. Right here it is. I do, but yeah, we already have the fuel. But yeah, I mean, you, you can obviously do everything without making any drugs, but I usually prefer making ones that I'm okay with them also taking. It's my preference. So in general, that's Psychic Tea and then sometimes beer. Very infrequent that I, I do have them use the hard drugs, you know? Yeah, Flake, uh, Flake specifically is very, very good for money making. Colony with no drugs at all. Are you asking like how to, how to get wealth to trade or what you should, uh, what you should do? So usually what, if that's the question, usually what I tell people, again, you're gonna love this, it depends, but it really does depend on what uh, a lot of factors, but one is what is your colony good at? What do you have excess of as far as workers? So you might have a run where you have like a bunch of people that are good at arts. And so you can, you know, you can make art to sell. Or you might have a run where uh, you don't have a lot of planters at all in general, but you have a lot of crafters or something. So you could do, um, you get leather or whatever. You do textiles and turn it into clothing. So usually lighter things are better, especially if you're going out to caravans. So that's why drugs are so one of the great things to trade. But even like clothing can be really good. Uh, what are they talking? So one of the things that I've been telling people for a long time, which is true. Uh, I don't know if that's where monkeys heard it from, but basically it's, it's not unsafe. If you send a caravan with one person, one person, one animal, and less than 10,000 wealth, you will only ever get attacked by a single melee raider. So if that pawn that you send out has a shock lance, or if they can just solo one melee raider, side cast, whatever, then you're basically safe. So one colonist, one animal, less than 10,000 wealth, you're not going to get ambushed very much because it's it's more stealth, but when you do get ambushed, it's going to be one melee enemy. So as long as the pawn you send out can handle one melee enemy, it's it's pretty pretty safe. It's going to drain, yeah. It's because of all these. Because of all those. Should be okay for now, though. We will get another geothermal sometime.
And we're not getting good shots in that. A big, don't go that way. We don't. We don't know if it's dead or not. Wait, we do know. It's try he's trying to extract the. Okay, that's good. Uh, all the stuff that they're wearing does count towards the wealth. E with one person, though, even slightly more than 10,000, you usually get two melee raiders. So even still, like having a shock lance on your caravan person, if you're still trying to keep, you know, relatively low wealth, one person, one animal, and then whatever you're trading, shock lance is generally enough. Flat goo, that is zombie tar, zombie bile. Slows things down and, um... It makes you very slow walking over, and it's also really flammable. Yeah, now, if you're sitting at a pawn, the, the pawn themselves has all Arco uh, tech, you know, and they're, the pawn themselves are worth 30,000 wealth, then yeah, you're going to get attacked by, by stuff. But as long as you're keeping your, uh, your caravan small like that, you can just have someone out caravanning almost all the time. pawns the best traders yeah that's what i think too like if you end up getting a pawn that's not very good otherwise you can send them out to trade and if they do end up getting killed or taken or whatever then you know you've gotten rid of some wealth and you have adaption factor so your next raids are gonna be a little bit easier ask you the videos yeah i should probably put like a really quick little video out about that it's uh that's one of the things that i think helped a lot of people because i think a lot of people still avoid caravanning and caravanning is super strong it's not really a fun thing to do you know caravanning but it's really really strong to do oh my god he just collapsed all that roof over there looks like yeah anything like that like a royal to call down janissaries or you know if you have side casting uh stream after world stream yeah yeah re really easy one like literally what i just said is all i would have to do Phase of the vanilla extended vehicles wanting to try caravaning more. Yeah, I don't know how uh, mods impact that kind of stuff, but. All right, we're getting some shells made along last. I really need some more crafters. So if anyone's wondering why I have everyone sets doctoring, it's because doctors are the only ones that can uh, extract the uh, the, well, the zombie extracts from the zombies. Yeah, I w yeah, I wouldn't know. Which video is that? Ah, uh, Joker. They were hanging out. Very much appreciated. Oh, it's a Wealth Manager video. Okay. Yeah, I know we kind of mentioned it, but do, I don't, I didn't remember if we went over it in detail. Thank you. All right, look at that. We got some shells. I probably want to do one more order. I feel a lot safer with three. Oh my God. It feels like it took us forever to get to mortars. A lot of plants. Yeah, it's a lot of plants. But I feel like we're in a pretty good spot, finally. Uh, in about a day and a half, we can try to clear out some zombies to maybe do some festivals. I really need to start getting uh, armor production done, too. It's really hurting on crafters. Oh, what's going on down there? I think it would, yeah, because we actually got to control some... Um, some empire people and a lot of the zombie hits did damage to their armor so no we never got a second slave ship no i mean with randy it's technically possible that we still could but pretty unlikely
All right, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and change the settings on this so I don't forget when the time comes to fire these. I guess I'll go ahead and set these up as well. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get to this, but uh, make flak vest. Go ahead and move that up. Until we have X, we're gonna do one fifty-two percent or better. Here's a zombie at the door. No more better. Oh God, vest. Ooh, vest. Well, shoot again. Vess has been... Vess has had, like, multiple zombie bites, right? I think they were one of the ones we had to use a serum on. Still need to get tables elsewhere, too. Lots of little things to do. Things to do. Gotta get the panic room fixed. We gotta get a path there so it's faster to run to it. But we do have flag vests set up now. And then we're gonna go ahead and do uh, simple helmets for now. Just to have something. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. We have X. X is one. Fifty two or better, no more better. Okay. Research. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that. In fact, let's go ahead and just turn these off so we're not using research right now. Way we can just go ahead and fill the batteries up for later. I'm Maligno. Thank you for the six months. Thank you, Maligno. Yeah, I plan to do that, yeah, in the panic room. I want to make it an actual room, which is a little bit dangerous because it means that the, um... Uh, the chance of getting insects is a lot higher. But I'm going to need to eventually make it into a room to get more beauty and probably put, like, food and stuff over there. In the long term. Yeah, because... We saw a 30-wave splitter, or spitter, which is insane. Luckily, it arrived calm, so we got to kill it first. Put the TV in the panic room, yeah. Not a bad idea. Alright, the next geothermal that we can... There's this one. We're doing okay in power right now, though. So getting a few things done. Some things crafted. Steel! Hey, close steel, nice. Nice. Gotta be careful pushing wealth too much though. We still we have overwhelming firepower for zombies, but not for raids. Destroying the base bit by bit live. <laughs> what does waves imply? It implies how many volleys of zombies it shoots at us, it seems. And the last one shot seven waves. Uh but we saw one with 30, but we killed it before it started. seems crazy. Really crazy. Alright, so... Now that we have these up, I feel okay trying out a couple turrets and seeing how they do. Um, I think they're going to do really well, though. So maybe get one of these that can cover... Multiple plate... Excuse me, places where the uh, the door opening zombies can come in. Like this covers three. That covers four of the doors that the zombie could go through. Let's get that one. Also, it'll help against drop rates. We haven't had any yet, but. And we really need crafters. Uh, Do we have anyone that's like a fast learner, great memory, or anything? I don't think so. Okay, so zombie threat level is going to start coming down. So we should probably go ahead and start doing rituals. 
Power cell would be good, yeah. All right. Let's risk it. What that the zombie noise is uh, like canceling out the festival noise. <laughs> that makes it creepier. Is it a good one? Unforgettable. Not unforgettable enough. Do it again. Oh, I just remember or just thought about we're gonna have to eventually get a persona core that's gonna be uh and another unforgettable with no join pretty bad luck go again we got two more chances here hopefully we get a on map quest for persona core oh there we go <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can uh we can grab that stuff pretty easily. Man. Three good ones. We failed the coin flip on all three of them. Last try. Same causing fights, yeah. Why lanterns over dance festivals? It was to get the hundred percent quality right off the bat, even with with like very few pawns without having to make anything. So this one you get hundred percent quality just from a ritual spot, so And uh, it was, I also did it in part for RP thematic reasons. We were talking about that too. It's like, what's the one of the quietest ones? And this was like, all right, we let lanterns up in the air to let people around know that this is a safe place that they can make it here sort of thing. So part RP, part because it was the one of the easiest ones to get 100% on early. All right, here we go. It's not too much, not too much. All right, Yarek, good luck. Good luck. Hang on, we can wait a little bit. I mean, it's pretty open aside from some of the bottom areas. I think a bunch of zombies making them. <laughs> yeah. We can wait a little bit. Oh, you can use cor uh, desiccated corpses for that. Yeah, I might want to wait for the daytime too. Yeah, we did that one with someone else for that reason. Hmm. Yeah, we should have time for that. Where's the scythers who need them? <laughs> yeah, the scyther had close to a hundred zombie kills. The one scyther. So, how are we doing on blocks? I might actually have them dig up a uh, block or stone for a little bit for blocks. Hmm. I think I'm going to. Because I want to secure that other geothermal. All right, it's daytime. Zombie threat. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh my God. He spawned at such a bad spot. Do not shoot your gun. Do not shoot your gun. No. Derek, you must have brains. No one smells you. I can smell you. Oh, you angered more than I thought. Got caught in the crossfire. 
Alter desired. Oh, we must have just passed that. Okay. We can do that. Alright. Man, why are there so many getting distracted? Surely they're not hearing the gunfire from that far away. What? That's crazy. Is that the revolver or something? Like, they're coming from really far. Huh. Weird. Alright. Uh, let's see how they are. Yerik. Where are you going? Oh my god. You're going to kill a turkey. Get back in. Alright, Yerik. A pyro body purist? Oh man. Oh. Oh well. Uh, let him go get the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> that one intelligent brain. Yeah. They're attractive. To, attractive to those zombies. All right, we'll get the altar here. Actually, we don't need that one. Hi, right, second drone. Let's just stay inside here in this. And let's get Yerik a name and a gun. Okay. All right. What's your real name? My real name is. Uh, River. Welcome in, River. Congratulations, condolences. Right. There we go. Prison Kid has a bow. He doesn't really go out and fight because he can barely move. So I just, I haven't really just given him anything else. <laughs> so. He's like the very end of the priority list for anything. Good, uh, high social pawn, you hope? It's gone. Perico, welcome in. Sounds like they need some Lucifirium. <laughs> It'd be really hard to keep a supply of Lucifirium in this one. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're going to help mining, construction... Wait, which stone are these? Sandstone. Limestone. Let's get uh, more sandstone if we can. The zombie, if he dies, the Sterium. I don't know. Probably, probably wouldn't, but I don't know. I wouldn't count it out with this mod. One more steel. Hopefully that one's closed. It looks like it has potential to be. Some stands, sandstone. We coming in there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. It's been one in over a year. Yeah, it is really RNG. Yeah. Super loose serum zombie. Story of urinal chicken, please. Uh, not quite yet. Sometime, though. It has been a little while, you're right. Not yet. Please, tell us the urinal chicken story. Uh, when did I tell it last? I don't know. I think it was early this year. I know I... Wait, was one of those limestone? It was. 
actually told it on like the charity stream of all places as well. We were on the front page of Twitch, like 15,000 people watching the stream. I told the urinal chicken thing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. There hasn't been any, you know. I think the couple might uh, be too old. No. Hmm. I guess we've been lucky. No, they're, they're not too old, so we've just been lucky this time. It's not that far in the run either, though. Good word, mural chicken. It's a charity stream. To count as a donation in and of itself. <laughs> I get drone is ending. So I'll keep them in the wall for now. Get those blocks built back up. They heard about run number three. Yeah. No babies for us. Just zombie food. All right, so, uh, I'm gonna put a few tables out here because we are still getting the occasional eight without a table. So, let's do that. Uh, we don't need to completely fill it in yet, but. I'm not gonna put any over there yet. So as it did to Lucerium and turn into a zombie, will they die? I don't know, yeah. Uh, probably not, actually. The zombies seem to wipe just about everything. Everything on that character is pretty much wiped. Okay. Zombie threats going back up. Uh, 10 days we'll have another little lull. Guys, you need to chill out with those masterwork chairs. I don't have the... We have the people for this. This wealth you're creating. Um. All right. So once this is built up, we'll go get that other geothermal. And I guess we need to get the gold and start getting to fabrication. Cure for lucid addiction all along. <laughs> Randy. Uh, there's a modded one made to go with Zombie Land. Really? What is that one? No, we're just playing against Randy. I didn't know there was a. I didn't know there was a storyteller that went with it. <laughs> Zombie Land storytelling. Person make shelves. You make. Okay, really? Yeah. yeah. Tear down the good ones. Yeah. So that psychoid's gonna go bad unless we grab it. All right, get that rice in here. I know I could do the, uh, what's that? uh, the trick, but well, video over song. It's here. Okay. That will be, that's a decent amount of blocks. So let's go ahead and move this over to the seal. All right, we'll see how the turret does. Someone else shot, so I don't know. But I mean, the, the turret shot. <laughs> we knew we knew it would, but kind of wanted to see how quickly it killed the zombie. Those ones seem to have low health or something too. The white ones. Uh, there's some of the cloud ones. Go take care of those. Why did we kill the buffalo? Ah. <laughs> Never know. The life is like Rimworlds. I do not do that. World is a terrible place. Terrible place. I'm be forced to do manual labor all day. Every day or else you'll die. You might die anyway. Constantly people coming to attack you. <laughs> bugs crawling, giant bugs crawling out of the ground to eat you and your family. 
not for me. The white ones are genies, yeah, maybe. Genie zombies. But television is free. It's basically Florida. <laughs> I'll eat you, Andy. Are you going to make it through here without getting eaten? You would be the first one. All right, Andy. We believe in you. Oh. Oh, Andy. Oh, he, he dodged it. <clears throat> oh, my God, Andy. You might make it out of this map. He's he's definitely angering. Nope. Nope. He killed one and tried to take off, but... Well, Andy didn't make it. The taste of long pork. You might. You might. Go for it, too. Ooh, another masterwork uh, assault rifle. This weapon is engraved with a depiction of a husky lying in bed next to her newborn. Husky. What else would the husky's newborn be? Who is already trying to pull himself around? The scene takes place inside a newly built hamlet. What's up with the hamlets? The image somehow expresses both murder and elegance. Besides that, the image is bordered by a group of tailors. Oh, crap. Uh, there's one of the electric ones. The electric ones we need the EMP for, and then um, they also seem to damage things around them. Nice throw, Marla. Nice throw. For all the pet names, I named the first one. I'm not sure I'm keeping these puppies is why. Like, I'm only naming the ones that we fully train. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the rest. I've been waiting for uh, Bolt Goods to sell a bunch of them, too. The reason is, yeah, they add that somehow. It really likes adding that to them in general. Somehow. All right, so next time it is day, we're going to go dig up that gold, get the multi-analyzer. I don't know if only run. No, I've been talking about it for a while, but... Mm -hmm. more trained? I don't think so, but I actually don't know. They sell more if they're healthy, adults and healthy, but I'm not sure about trained or not. Huh. Some meat delivered to the zombies. Thanks, Randy. Dog breed, it's father. I think they implemented that. They should. No, I I know there are mods for a bunch of uh, bunch of other dog types and stuff. Yeah, crossbreed. Yeah, much. I using them to haul from outside. Yeah, yeah. It's mainly what I've been using them for. And look, they're gathered around watching that TV. Yeah, I still plan on doing, um, Fog War Silent Raids, too. A flak vest. Well, zombie spitter. Start running this way. 46 waves. Oh, my God. Let's go. It's calm right now. What? 46? Imagine if that spawned aggressive. I don't even know what we... We gotta get that panic room set up, but that's, like, not enough. If that becomes aggressive before we can get down there, we are gonna be in some deep crap. Yeah, go, go, go. Get in close. And shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Or 
We're so lucky that was uh preparing for a while basically. We can test out carrying it home though. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going to see what happens. You can tin to it? Alright, guys. We might have a pet zombie. <laughs> I can't believe we can go up to 46 waves. Yeah, we would just die. Um, we have to get that panic room set up. Like, maybe more important than anything. Oh, another one of these jerks. All right. So we have a zombie spitter in our base now. I mean, I couldn't go for one right now. We don't have enough components or anything. But wh why do we have it here? So that's a good. Yeah, let's 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 check something here. Spits on zombies. I'm really curious what's going to happen with this. At least we stopped to ask why. <laughs> this, yeah, this time. Give me a... Probably means you're not meant to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Not squirrel one. That was my favorite squirrel. Right along with turkey one. Yeah, look at that thing. That's where it shoots the zombies out. It's in shock due to pain. I have no idea what this is going to do. Can you administer smoke leaf? No, there's no operation tab. have a auto bong next to it Lynn two colonists for eight days all right we captured one what does that mean I don't know I don't know okay you know what I don't know how it reacts to corners if you can attack to the corners, I have no idea. Let's do that. And we're going to tend to it. It seems like a really bad idea. But I mean, we have some serum if something goes wrong. I mean, it could end the run, though. Oh, no. Infestation. Christ. 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 Um, finally happened. It's a low roll, though. Don't we have a tough pawn? Yeah, we do have a tough pawn. All right. Bess, you're tough. Old dude. Kitten. All right, who's fast? Oh, what? Oh, one of the exploding zombies blew up next to the ancient danger. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. All 
Uh, there's an ancient danger open. Wait, what if I... Too late. Too late. Never mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's not a whole lot. Although a lot of them are mega spiders. You can deal with it. All right, let's go take care of this. Now, let's see. The bugs do attack the zombies. Husky meat shield. Yeah, we didn't need it for that. For anyone that doesn't know, in 1.4, they nerfed infestations. Infestations now are half... Half the raid points they used to be, half the size they used to be. So, maximum infestation now outside of quest is only 20 hives. I'm wondering why that's so much lower than it normally would be. That's why. Why did they nerf them? I have no idea. But they did. Uh oh, let's check out the Persona Sword, yeah. Uh, free wielder kill happy. Well, well, well. Literally, that's put this on anyone and have them kill some animals or something. Make them happy. That's like one of the best set setups you can get. That's kind of crazy. We definitely want to, uh, to save that. Insect jelly for everyone. All right, back to this. Back to this. I don't even need a sword for that. <laughs> Plan to have for dinner. Uh, oh, what are we doing? Like, uh, are we doing just an anything, whatever? Doing a whatever night, leftovers and stuff? It's moving. Can work on non No, because they can't hold it. I'm not sure that, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look after, uh, after the stream. I don't know what we've done. <laughs> is is this a good thing? I don't know. Don't know. It doesn't have a... Yeah, it's not an animal. It doesn't have a taming thing on it. Hmm. Turn it into a mortar? I mean, it would shoot at us, I'm assuming. Huh. Actually, probably nothing will happen. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, they don't bleed out. Yeah, they don't lose... Uh, they don't bleed to death. We've seen that with other ones. It has a social tab, but it has no friends. So. Comfortable temperature range, minus 100 to 250 Celsius. Look at that. The zombie spitter has no friends. It's so sad. The thing is, if it's ever let out of here, we need to kill this thing. <laughs> if it's ever let out of here, it's just going to unload 29 waves of zombies on us. What if another spitter can't spawn with this one on the map? Forbid the door? Well, forbidding the door doesn't stop like a breacher or something from breaking it. I 
Wait, so can we like... Uh, let's do, let's, let's do something here. What? Meleeing it just kills it. That's what I was thinking. I was going to melee it and then try to taint or, uh, it drops serum. It just dr straight up drops serum. Well, crap. But apparently meleeing just kills it. It just insta died. It's not like we have any kind of extra melee attack. We watched it for hours. Was yours? Yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. Is Brains here? Are you still here, Brains? Was it bonded? Capture in the future to get serum. It's really interesting. Yeah, I want to capture another one now. Smashing its body. Uh, nothing special. One hit. Maybe it counted as, yeah, like, um, like hunter finish off kind of thing. I don't know. Can it be butchered? Consume? I don't think we have a, you know what? We can do this. Let's check this way. Consume. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, the zombies aren't in here. Huh. You can force them to eat it? What if we keep it in there? No, it's gonna spoil. Um, this one's spoiling faster too than the other one. I was gonna say, what if we keep it in there and like... Force feed it to a guest. Consume it to absorb its power. It's probably just gonna count as raw food, honestly. It's not on the list. You can butcher it. Nothing seems to happen, though. Hmm. Ah, uh, if you set radius, gotcha. Yeah, it dropped a serum. Just straight up serum. Just feed it to kitten. <laughs> oh, man. It probably just counts as raw food. Oh, my God. We we have a cure. Kin, let's go. For science, kitten. Come on, kid. You gotta... What? What are you making me... You gotta eat the zombie, kid. The zombie mothership. Yeah, all right. But I have to take it to a table. <laughs> Don't get any spit in your goatee. That's right. My God, look how big it is on the table. You're hungry? Well, do I have good news for you, kid. You're not going to be hungry anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute. It doesn't count as any raw food or a corpse. Oh, he's ascetic. He's ascetic. He loved it because he's ascetic. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even... I forgot he was ascetic. Man, that maxed out his food, too. He really liked that. Well, that was amazing. <laughs> Freaking kitten. Freaking kitten. <laughs> Alright. For God's sake. He ruined the science. He ate the whole freaking thing in one setting, too. He has like 2,000 HP. Slurps it down. I kind of want another spitter to spawn now. I want to see if that happens again. I'm really curious uh, if Brain shows back up. We're going to ask him why that died in one melee hit. I mean, it was weakened, right? But still, it had a lot of HP left. That was really weird. I don't know if there's anything to it or... I don't know. <laughs> if he doesn't eat it all in one sitting, he has to pay. Uh, 
Yeah, we do need to get the panic room set up. Uh, and we really need crafters. We have so much work that we need to get done and not enough people to do it. Um, I want to get the other geothermal. We're going to need that for the like five minutes. I'm dying. I something got fixed, changed. Uh, maybe he went too far in one, one direction, maybe. Yeah, I'm wondering if, if that works in general, like if melee is just more effective against them. That would be kind of interesting. We also need to grab that sword. Yeah. In fact, we should probably go do that first. All right. Let's go grab the sword. Uh, Kin. Friggin' Kin. And go ahead and drop your great sword and you can come with us. What? I get to leave the base? Yep. You do. Ready to go, Kin. Moving up in the world. Uh, moving laterally in the world. I immediately went after that zombie. Hey, was that you? Yep, that's why I shot you. Wow, who's that bad shot back there? Someone not shooting very, very well. Alright, Kin. Equip that sword. Uh, and then unrestrict you. You know what? Open this while you're here. Compact weaponry. No, not you. Not you. All right, nice. What's the best way to manage corpses? Find a kin. The assault rifle is basically over at that point. Oh, in games in general? Yeah, that's one reason why I think I'm going to do bows only sometime soon. Or maybe a new TV. <laughs> but uh, like Brain said, if we feel like we're starting to get ahead of everything, we can actually dial the settings up even higher. So might end up doing that at some point. Yeah, Masterwork Assault Rifle is pretty good. Pretty good. It's going white. Welcome in. Uh, there's a couple angry ones. Oh no! God, I didn't see him. <laughs> Where's in? I must repair this door. No matter the cost. I run using the mods to my random research. No guns yet. Yeah, that's, that does sound brutal. Yeah, lost potential ways to everything to quickly go catastrophically wrong. Yeah, like yesterday when when uh, someone's like, wait, where's the challenge? And then we we died like 15 minutes later. Let me land seems easy until yeah, right till it's not. Spawn FPS killer. It hasn't really been, no. It does slow down a little bit, but not, not as much as maybe you would think. Uh, there's still an angry one out there. These two should be able to take care of it, though. Person, for God's sake. Oh, I grabbed bald dude on accident. Did we accidentally grab a bald dude? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, man, I need more people. Don't 
go on the map. We'll come in. Got three days we can try one of these. On the weapons and specific niches. Using your own runs to make things more interesting. The assault rifle mode. I haven't found one that interests you yet. Uh, chain shotguns are also really good, and it's a completely different play style. So if you haven't done a run where you do uh, use chain shotguns, they're really strong, but it's definitely a different play style. Greased up deaf guy to distract the zombies for a while. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? Grabbing the ball, dude? Could be. Could be. It wasn't initially, but I think it is now. Where were all where are all those traders were getting earlier? We're getting traders all the time. You know what? We might get some pawns out of this right here. Something Granny might say. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I don't really need to extend this yet, but I think I'm going to make this into a little prison really quick until we see what's, what's in there. Short to midterm. term. Uh, so the short term is going to be to find out what's in here and get gold for the multi analyzer. Um, slightly longer term than that is to get our own component production and get more pawns. Long term will be to get ship research before the planet killer destroys us. Uh, Zetia, summon Sky God. Sky God, what do you think we should do? I couldn't beat a chair. How are we going to beat this? Sometimes you get a good quote, sometimes not. <laughs> so. That one probably not the best of quotes. Prisoner sleep, yeah. Is there ancient, another ancient danger? There is another one, yep. There is another one. All right, let's go see what's in here. Oh, I, do I still have that one? Is this it? In the rear with the gear. It's the right one. In the pot, five by five. All right. Yeah, I don't have that one on there. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Ten bald dude. Uh. Ken, you can come. Might have to arrest some ancients or something. Never know, Ken. You never know. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. Oh, ancients. No, no, no. <laughs> Crap, not ancients, zombies. <laughs> and ancients, all right, all right. Christ, those weren't dead, they were undead. Ken is old and fragile and bald dude is incapable of violence. So. being rescued yep rescued rescued with extreme prejudice kin's a menace kin just ate an entire boss zombie corpse and enjoyed it he ate it on a table though so it's okay <laughs> i can't believe that he just he just picked up the giant zombie mortar spitter thing and threw it on a table ate the whole thing and was like yeah delicious 
You just didn't dislike it. <laughs> ah, it was all right. Could use some salt. Gold. We'll go back for it. Yeah. Yeah. These guys might have some gold in their inventory. All right, let's see what we got in there. Go ahead and set them to convert. Okay, and what do we get? What do we get? We got a 33 year old uh, jealous trigger happy, capable of many things, but uh, they can learn to fight. Nimble, nimble 15 year old doctor. All right, Doogie Hauser. Teetotaler, cook plants. Come on, where's the crafters? Where are the crafters? Oh, fascination cyclic sensitive. Another incapable of violence. Uh, we're gonna say no on that one. Say no on that. This is five, yeah. Same one as the very end. More like douchey Hauser. <laughs> I've not heard that. We could use a Hemogen farm that would actually help with some tending. Get some medical experience. I don't even want to worry about it though, honestly. I'm just getting rid of him. Do our people care about execution? Uh, respected if guilty. Are you guilty? I mean... I don't think you are. We literally just arrested you for no reason. No, you're not. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hang on. How do we feel about taking organs? Don't release them. <laughs> Acceptable. Do we think they're guilty? Yeah. That's a good point. All right. Get that done. One of these guys has asthma, so we're going to take those lungs off this one to give to the asthmatic one. Operation. Um, let's harvest that left lung. Harvest the right lung. Okay. Uh, I think they drop most of the inventory stuff. Yeah, like that's where the components in the plastic came from. Make sure. Oh. Yeah, let's 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 put them inside while we're getting this done. Operation. Scan steel, we want to check that for sure. Oh wait, I'm supposed to try to save this person. That's the whole reason we have Bald Dude, even though he's incapable of violence. Um crap. <laughs> Uh, chapter two, uh, of what? Yeah, I'm supposed to try to save all these. We're supposed to try to save everyone we can. I can literally put his lung back in him. <laughs> oh my God. Medical experience. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. I, I was resorting to my, reverting to my old ways. Sorry about that. Whoops. Let's put that right back in. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Whoops. 
forgot. I'm not the villain this time. We're, we're trying to save everyone. Let's just kill him all. Oh, oh, oh. Kill him from this. Totally unneeded <laughs> lung removal. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. I forgot that we were the good guys this run. Mo mostly good. Mostly good. All right. I'm bad. See, it never happened. Yeah. Yeah, see? Uh, home seek. Oh, um, chapter one through five is up on, on YouTube. If you're talking about uh, part two, part two is a separate story. I haven't started that one yet. Separate story with a different group of survivors. I haven't started that one. The lung's really clean. We just took it out, cleaned it up, put it back in. Yeah. I'm ready to wake up hundreds of years later. Get your lungs stolen in a compound. They go, whoops, and put it back in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Before the zombie apocalypse, you see, we were actually the bad guys. We were villains. We did anything we uh, we felt like. We killed people, kidnapped children, stole organs, traded lots of drugs. I mean, we still do the drug thing, but chill, chill. It's fine. But I forgot. It's a whole zombie apocalypse thing. We're the good guys now. We didn't steal it. We were inspecting it to make sure it was uh, it was fine. Yeah. And when we gently placed it back. We we thought he could need he could use some fresh air. So we took the lung out, we took it outside, we got some fresh air, and then we put it back in. Because he couldn't get out of bed. It was the only way. <laughs> could you have opened a window? Windows don't exist, I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. Windows don't exist. Sounds like witchcraft. I'm not sure. All right, can all you guys walk now? Bowman is someone I see a lot. 25, 36, 13. We took the organ for a walk. Lost Argotech technology, the window. Convincing narrative. Yeah, don't sue us or anything. Don't sue us. Was... Come on, Granny Student, did you do a redemption thing or? No. Or is that what you're talking about? <laughs> the office that you work at? No windows and electricity. Station inside. Surgeon with debilitating autism or something. As long as you need fresh air, move lungs, let them outside for a bit. Prisoner don't know about it? Maybe. Can you walk yet? You can walk. You cannot walk. Okay, one of you can walk. Um. Oops. That one can walk now to... So we're going to go ahead and set this to colonists. We're going to destroy that door. There you go. You guys can come out. Come out, please. Come on out. You're free to wander around our concrete compound. Don't go any, any further or we will kill you. Remember, we're the good guys. Right. Don't forget, we're the good guys. It allows you to sort apparel restriction by the stats they provide. Filter it to only see the apparel it gives, social impact. I don't know. I don't know of one like that. Yeah. Not sure. Guys, come on. Gotta be so vigilant about these friggin' things. I take your eyes off the border for a little bit of your base and all of a sudden there's special zombies trying to get through doors and crap. Don't go outside. We're going good. Yeah, I wonder if the zombies existed before they were frozen. I guess not because it just happened uh, 92 days ago. So. All right. Hey, steel real close. Look at that. It's in the house. The steel is coming from inside the house. All right, well, if any bugs spawn off that, those beds are going to get absolutely destroyed. I guess we'll just make new ones. 
you were patient zero. I mean, there were zombies in there. Uh, Sooth Pulsar. Would like to have that sometime. There is one more ancient danger. Welcome back. Your step Subs a wall. How's it going, Div? 31 months, Div. <laughs> Very much appreciated. It's a long time, man. It's a long time. People actually, like, bug me. That was part of our RP stuff, so... Um... Yeah, fine. Solid content, especially Dark Dungeon and RimWorlds. Yeah. My pleasure. Glad you are still around. Alright, Butch Creature, new forever, drop on the floor. Uh, actually, we want to only do this to bugs right now. There we go. There we go. Do I actually bug? No. <laughs> okay, uh, we do have... We actually have gold in here. I kind of forgot that we got some golds. Uh, I think some of that actually came off their, out of their inventory, come to think of it. Speaking of... Yeah. All right, uh, so I guess it's time uh, to get the multi-analyzer done. Yep, got everything for it. I don't know if they, I don't, last time I had checked, it wasn't on Humble, yeah. It's still not, it seems. So, uh, can you walk after we did the whole lung thing? What lung thing? Yeah, you can walk. You can walk. Which one was that? He has a zombie infection in the brain. What are you doing, dog? I need to double tap that guy. That sounds kind of weird. What we do? I gotta check the other ones. Hey. Hey, any of you any more zombie stuff? Where'd you put that corpse? Rip his head off. There we go. Okay. It's only the brain. So I become wounded and pop out without weapons. Uh, no, they can have multiple things in it. So there's, there's multiple options. So you can get, um, uh, neutral or friendly ancients like that. Or you can get the like pirate versions, right? So it's just it's just luck of the draw. So it had nothing to do with me attacking it. The whole reason I attacked it from far away was because I was afraid that they were gonna pop out as the pirate ones, but they didn't. Man, I gotta really pay attention to these. Doing day, I'm doing all right. Let's go to observer. Dog eats it. Uh, animals can't turn into zombies in this one. Let me move this. Yeah, they'll get lung rot if they stay in it, yep. That's why I was moving that back. <laughs> All right, well, let's get these turned back on. Uh, and we do need to get that other geothermal. I mean, we can survive without it though. I just put another one of these in for now. Or batteries if we really need to. Let's see how we do with with this. I don't even have all the helmets. But... Okay, and it's we gotta get this room done, man. We have so many things to do. Um, no crafters again. I think we're just gonna have to start doing these on cooldown and hope the person makes it to us. If they spawn. Our pawns, all sort of Yeah, it's going all right today. We've had a couple of scary moments, and I'm... We had a spitter that had, like, 47 waves spawn, but it didn't spawn as hostile yet. So. Attack. 
Some come wounded. No, attacking the... Attacking these has nothing to do with how they come out. The, attacking them just triggers them from a distance. That's all it does, so... It just triggers them to open from a distance. If you attack one and it doesn't open, then that means the person in that one was already dead. Going Dan, welcome in. What do you get from that? We got a really good uh, Persona sword. Uh, it's Free Wilder and Kill Happy. So basically anyone can wear it. And if they kill something, they get happy while they're wearing it. So, And we have a lot of things around that we can kill if we needed to ever do that. If anyone was like really upset, we have some things that they could kill to get happier. We're the good guys. All right, anyway, don't you dare look at those puppies. <laughs> Lurking back to work. They ran out. Oh, man. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is you're upset because your organ was harvested oh no how'd that happen we put it back come on we put it back get over it are you the good guy i can see it no <laughs> i just forget sometimes i just forget uh long thing for the 25 months hey long glad you're still around as well wasn't harvested. We took it for a walk. It's back right now. You literally have the organ inside of you. So. Evil's a lot easier. It is. Yeah. I don't like that you have a bite scar. Well... We might get some of these. Maybe. Okay. And work meme. They bring it out. Have a good shift. We really need a trader. Uh, uh, is there going to be any downtime? Four and a half days. Hmm. Are they guilty now? <laughs> uh asking for a friend a proxel thing for coming in if we clear a way out for a caravan they can come back in four and a half days yeah it's like our first prisoners one of them is incapable of violence unfortunately but if i was really good guys we have to try to save them i think when we're done with these ones we're going to check the other ancient danger Free plans for your streaming schedule with RimWorld, Homeseek, Black Relicari. Oh, RimWorld's already coming in for split streams. Or a couple. Uh, split streams should be back on Wednesday. Yeah. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep doing split streams on the weekend, though. The weekend is uh, is the best uh, numbers day for the stream, and especially for RimWorld. So. But yeah, I do plan on doing um, doing split. As far as Black, Black Reliquary, I'm waiting for the big updates that they're working on at the moment. So I probably won't be back to that until they finish that. And Homeseek isn't very good for the stream, but I, I, I would like to play the second part of it. There's only one more part left, right? So I am thinking about knocking that out. Warhammer, uh, I am waiting on the next update for Warhammer 2. There's a Warhammer DLC coming and there's a big update. So big update to my favorite game mode, which is um, Mortal Empire. So I'll wait for the update on that. But yeah, I do plan on playing that some more too. What's the longest they can live before they become a zombie? The longest I've seen is like 34 hours or something like that. I don't know if that's the maximum or not, but... Yeah, we, we've seen some guests be at about 30... 34-ish. Yeah, Randy's been really quiet. Look at this. He was pretty active there when 
we were actually talking about him being quiet. The Smurf asked me a question. <laughs> and then Rainy hit us three times and then, like, oh, I'm done interrupting Smurf for now. Let you, let you rest for a little bit. We're almost to day 100. I gotta get this room done though. We could absolutely still lose to uh, Spitter. Uh, I have one turret, but it's only shot at a single white zombie so far. So we don't know. Uh, we don't know how well it'll do. Zomboid split. And those are still up there. Um, so if you, you can harvest zombie extract and there's a recipe to make zombie serum. If you apply an operation of zombie serum to someone that has a bite soon enough, and they won't turn. If I accidentally press the pause button, there is literally no pause button. I don't have a pause button. I have a mod that I it, I literally can't pause. So I haven't I haven't paused a no pause run in like four years thanks to the no pause mod. So no, I don't have to start over. It doesn't even pause during trade menu or anything. Quest menu, nothing. Uh, slightly cool green tea. <laughs> uh, oh, that reminds me. We want to get the, um, the shocker set up. It's only two components. Yeah, screw it. Screw that. I don't know where to put it. We usually come in on this side. So... Oh my god. With the extra walls, it can cover that whole spot. What? You remember the Arc of Attack? Yes. Exclamation muff. Exclamation M-U-F-F -F is a clip of how no pause can screw you over in menus. Freaking fluffy. We haven't used the zombie shocker yet, so we don't know exactly how it functions, but... I guess I will set it up over here. That's short for Muffalo, by the way. All right. Can that be used on colonists? Or, or dogs on accident? It says zombies specifically. It looks like it was connecting this whole area. Can't think of a single other thing it could mean other than Muffalo, yeah. Well, I, I didn't either when I made it. I almost ruined that run. It was a really long run, too. <laughs> what if I electrocute the prisoners? Oh, my God. So... Start the zombie shocker. Yeah, it should only work on zombies, but we're going to test it. Oh, well, crap. I didn't know that's how it works. So it drains battery power in order to... That determines the size of the shock. We're going to need more batteries with more power in them. Well, crap. Now I'm out of power. Um, Here, turn these off temporarily. That's kind of interesting. So if we wanted a shock big enough for this entire room... We'd have to have a lot of batteries. That's kind of crazy. Finally used for more batteries, yeah. Huh. That's interesting. It kind of fizzled, but... So, the batteries weren't very full, right? And it covered about this area? we have to test it again with two full batteries and see. Be worth it over the assault rifles? Well, the thing is, when the zombie spitters fills up the barracks while we're not in it with a bunch of zombies and we come back to clear it, Right now, I have to, like, stay away from it and shoot the wall open. But again, you know, that's just... That's just bricks to rebuild, so it's probably not. 
How big? This barracks is four different 13 by 13 rooms combined. Can you link more than one shocker? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any, uh, just a build copy. More batteries equal bigger, yeah, bigger shorts, bigger as well. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. Hmm. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> There's one now. Yeah, that's what it's for, the Spitter Siege. Yeah. Nighttime, take care of that. All right. Um, we really need a trade ship. It's been a long time since we saw one. Long time. We had like three in a row and then I'm adding in forever now. I really need to get that done, man, but we just don't have the manpower right now. I might switch over to hydroponic so we don't need as much or many people working plants all the time. I don't know. Uh, you're waiting for another update. It was a ship update that released on August 11th. I don't remember if that was the one. I'll double check. Yeah, it might have been actually. Double check. Don't remember because I didn't. I don't. I didn't look at like the name of it. All right, how are these guys doing? Um, let's go ahead and use conversion. I would eat crafter so badly. Puppy, get him. Good job, puppy. Good job, Husky 3. You know what, Husky 3? Or that earned you a place in the colony. There you go, Husky 3. <laughs> this Husky will not be eaten. I mean, unless it dies for other reasons, but. All right, uh, animal naming queue. Let's see here, we got We got another cat. Named by Phelan. Thanks, Phelan. Yep, cat too. You caused it. You called it. Missing Husky Army for corpses. The, the zombies don't attack them either. They're really good against them. Yeah, I might switch to some corn on some of this too. I was talking about that earlier. At least the side crop there. Um, I don't even need this one anymore. We're just going to stop sewing that one for now. I really want a bolt goods trade ship. Got to set fabrication back. Sorry, Becky. But he wasn't sorry. He wasn't sorry at all. Sorry, Becky. Hmm. It's gonna take a long time to get through this research this tribal and only two people doing it. Uh Wow, we're down to three components. Come on, trade ship. Come on. Uh, we have about... We have exactly 500 days left. So, 500 days left. They put the wrong prisoner in there. Now, what are you doing in there, huh? Welcome back. 
your steadfast loyalty. You almost over your organ being harvested? No. You have double catharsis though. Um really want that one out of there. Do you wander out of there? No? Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. The one president is bleeding out. Why'd <laughs> you Jake's in president, yeah. This is, that was a good uh autocorrect. Uh Escalapius. That's what I'm going with this month. Maybe the resub. Glad to be back. Thank you, thank you. Menino. Menino. All right. Can't believe I have to take these people. Can't believe I have to take these people. You walk in yet? No. Go to your main base or home. Uh, well, it depends. Steel is flammable, so you probably don't want to do that, but it goes up really quickly. Granite has high HP, but it's the longest. It's the longest normal stone uh, in building time. So as usual, it depends. But, yeah, steel is flammable, so you probably don't want to build all your walls out of steel. Unless you're using a mod, you know, make it not flammable. Why is steel flammable? I don't know. That's tiny about that. But if you add plastic to it and get plasteel, that's not flammable, so that makes sense. I really want this one to get out of here. Awful prison cell? Yeah, I know. Uh, I guess we'll do it this way again. Alright, get out of there. <clears throat> jade! But uh, build your entire base out of jade. Yeah, jade's not flammable, and it's, it's purdy. It needs a trade, sanguine or industrious. You know, it depends. Uh, is this their first trait? It's their first trait. And what passions do they roll? For me, usually on a kid like that, I would grab industrious, but it does depend. Like, are they going to grow up and do any kind of work that needs global work speed? Or is it more important that they are happy while fighting no. save ways to not care man no no not really i think i might just try it anyway hmm. the third quick sleeper steadfast if you have steadfast you don't uh sanguine is, is less needed because their breakdown uh number is going to be Cook and shooter, it seems. Yeah, I would probably pick industrious for that one, honestly. I mean, if you need a moral guide or a leader, though, steadfast um, or like a royal, steadfast thing one is like they're never going to break down. So I would probably pick industrious unless you need someone that's just that person. That's the one that doesn't break down, even if they have two tiers higher expectations with their um, with their roll or whatever and i am really considering sending someone out because we have so many drugs built up right now and we need components to progress uh they would be out on the road for six and a half days hmm Can't send any of our construction people. Spaceman could go, I guess. He could probably handle himself too. While he's out. Uh all right. It's gonna be so risky. We're gonna have to like 
see which way he's going. We have to clear a path for him, and then he's going to have to stay on the road for six days. He's got high enough planting, too, so he will be able to uh, keep himself fed off foraging if he has to stay out longer. Let's give him a bedroll. Any more information on it? Um, there's just so many things with it. Yeah, you can you can go to the page and see. But ours right now, we just have constant zombies on the map, including lots of special zombies and zombie attack events, and they just kind of come in, in waves. As you see, up to 500 zombies. Uh, it adds a few other things too, but in general, it's just about surviving the zombie onslaught. All right. Well, I, I picked them because they're not one of the most important pawns. One of the newer ones, too. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll set it up. We have a lot of planters, so... Tribal always gets a lot of planters. Uh, which one of these is closer? That one is one day without a horse. 1.2 days without a horse. Okay. All right, spaceman. Husky puppies should be okay to take. Oh, it's really risky to take those ones. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. We might go to both places. So we're going to take uh, more meals than he probably needs. We're going to take rice. If he has to eat raw rice, then so be it. So be it. And then... Like, we could also get an ally out of this. I don't know that we're ever going to call an ally during this run, though, because they're just going to die to the zombies. Uh, I think that's probably enough for now. Alright. Yeah, they're unique zombies as well, yeah. It would be really surprising if they have pawns for sale, but if they did, I would buy them. Alright, so... As soon as we know which direction Space Band's going, we have to go out and clear zombies in that in that direction. Hopefully we can keep him protected to the edge of the map. Oh my god, he already friendly fired one of the huskies that he's supposed to be taking. Let's go. Hey, which direction are you going in? He's going to get in all the animals right now. Hurry up, spaceman. He's still loading things. I could turn him off, attack on will. That way, it's, it's risky, though. Now I'm going to. Uh, we're going to hit him or put him on ignore. Starting at the last few things he needs to take. 
And then we gotta clear a path and hope Rainy doesn't hit from that direction at the same time. Where are you going now? There he goes. All right. Oh god, that one's already after him. In. <laughs> I feel the dogs just running through all this zombie. Nonsense. All right, cross the water. Imagine we accidentally shoot the horse. Where are you on? This is number five. Number five. Would also really friggin' suck if one of those spitters spawned right now. Don't hit the horse. Don't hit the horse. Oh, we can't hit that one. It's, uh, we don't have any MP with this. Christ. Space man, go. Get out of here. Oh my God. That one's closing in. We can't do anything about it. I forgot to bring any MP. Space man, get off the map. <laughs> we have to lure that one away from him. Uh... It's because the animals are scared because of the shots. The horse. No. <laughs> Well, that didn't go quite as planned. Well, uh, Kin, grab the EMP. Got to turn that back on. All right, Ken, let's go. Is there a zombie out here? Outside walls, get out of here. Place me in, you gotta protect them. Man, all that crap got to haul back home. Melee, I know, but if we get a if we get a bite, I don't want to waste one of these on something that we could just do an EMP on, you know. Oh, Christ. Well, doesn't matter anyway. Uh, did either of you get bitten? All right, we're gonna have to carry a bunch of that crap back home. All right, save the horse. Guys, gather up where the drugs are. I 
and grab those. Alright. Well, that was a mess. Friendly fire on the horse. What an adventure we had! <laughs> Well, that sucked. We gotta be careful, too. I imagine if we get hit by a spitter now, we're screwed. Oh, well. Are we winning? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally, Glenn, get in here. Uh, let's see, alpaca and river. All right, well, at least it wasn't a bite. All right, alpaca, can we go grab other tea? Rice, I'm not too concerned about or any of the other stuff. Great caravan. So crazy that they uh, they hit the horse. Really unfortunate. I even mentioned that it could happen. I was like, don't hit the horse. And sure enough. Major break. Yeah, well. Uh, we could let this be set in case the dogs go af after it, I guess. Okay. Want anything? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. We need armor for the horse. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh god, alpaca. All right, well, uh, we'll heal the horse up and if it can actually travel again. But the problem is now we won't be able to be back in time, most likely. <sighs> well, if we get an orbital trader, we'll be in this mess. <laughs> Man, that sucked. Man, that sucked. Crazy. Crazy. We can't guarantee he'll leave that way this time, you know? So, we'd have to clear again. Ooh. Well, we got steel building up. That's nice. Nice. Uh, and we can get that other geothermal. All right, the panic room. Panic room. So many things to do. So while they're there, I guess it doesn't matter if it's a room, just the beauty here stat, because they're going to be shooting out through this and absolutely ripping this apart. Unless the turrets are just so good that it can kill the zombies they shoot, but good safe scum. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to make it a room, but we do, we do need to make it more impressive. So uh, I need to make some more sculptures then. I'm, I am going to have to make it a room. If we get one of those that has like 60 waves or something, we're going to need to like spin the night there. We're going to even need like a little freezer in there. Bugs are just going to rip this apart at some point, but. That's the only thing that can protect us from the spitters. I wonder if it'd be faster to get up there. Looks like it might be. So we're talking maybe 25 tiles there. 
I'll just say 100 tiles you get from from the barracks to there. It's a little bit less, but. Yeah, I, I, I did not. I didn't know that. Yep. I don't know if it is or not. I mean, I didn't know it, so. All right. Uh, let's. How's your mood? Now nah, we're going to leave him in there still. Leave him in there. We'll get this done. All right. So crazy. Where? Brosia. Heard apparel on Zusha. What are you? What are you wearing? What are you wearing, Zusha? All right. I didn't set up um, clothing rules. That's right. Okay. Uh, do we have enough made though? No, not really. I have so few crafters. Uh, so we will want to do all a full set of chairs in there. We don't have the wood right now. So let's go ahead and set some to chop. Price is a belief. Works for me. You're going to have to accidentally buy another TV? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. don't really have the components to be spinning right now. Next time we get more components in, I need to, uh, I need to use them on the next geothermal. So much work to do. Uh, steel is looking pretty good. We can probably turn these off right now. Trying to build it up. We're not going to use it right now. And zombie threat's going to drop down to nothing in about a day. Which means we can do a couple of these rituals. Also means if rainy attacks, then we might be into trouble. All right, we'll bring these out. We're basically up to 11 fighters at the moment. Ken is kind of... I mean, if we can get some bionics on Ken at some point, he'll, he will kind of join that group, but... Moment. All we got. All we got. It's a good idea to build lots of batteries. Yeah, I don't know, because... It makes this stronger, but also it means that the... Uh, this event... Will be a bigger explosion, right? That's our man cave, yeah. <laughs> That's our our bunker, our post-apocalyptic bunker. My post-apocalyptic man cave. And yeah, we're gonna have uh, Devil Strain. Okay, not soon. It's at fifty percent. Like a wasting waves in your earthquake room, yeah. Uh. Probably not too much longer. Why did you need something? Zombie shocker. Yeah, so this expels battery power to shock all the zombies in a single room. I don't know if it does damage, but it stuns them. But um, the size of it depends on how many battery, how much battery power is hooked up into that grid. And it expels all of it. To shock them. Just curious. I think we should probably 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do, start doing these. Here we go. We're hoping for a joint event. Oh, Christ. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Go ahead and start heading toward the room in case this isn't a hostile one from the get-go. It's aggressive. 14 waves. 14 waves. Well, this room isn't done yet, but it was close. Oh my god, the prisoners, the prisoners. They're screwed. Prisoners are dead. It's already aggressive, so and it will it will bullseye us if we go out there. Man, that sucks. Are we gonna have to put the prison in the friggin' mountain? <laughs> Do converts, yes. Sorry. Sorry. Oh god, Kin! Oh Jesus. <laughs> Fourteen is crazy. So not as high as we've seen. Well. Well. Whoa, look at you. Nice. He only got a bruise from the from the bullet. Nuts. <laughs> Kinda. Oh no. Oh, Christ. The electric one is there doing this. Oh, no. How much longer? It still has 11 more shots. Our base is going to burn down. And that zombie's gonna open that door to let it happen. The only hope is that there's enough holes in the roof that it doesn't heat up too much. Zombies being splattered all over the mountain, yeah. How many more waves? It's still 10 more waves. Why do you have to spit it right away? If it's hostile when it joins, it will bullseye you with all these. So the zombies literally land right on top of you. And... Still nine more waves. An exploder landed there, blew up a bunch of the Devil Strand and a bunch of the wall. Yeah, we gotta get this room set up better, but we we need to get fire foam in here. Can fire special zombies too. It's still eight. Jesus Christ. Well, prisoners are gone. Prisoners are gone. Seven waves left. Do you need to eat or anything? No. No. Nope. 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 Hey, okay, you need to eat. Well, we're gonna have to rebuild the whole base pretty much. So, and there's a... Uh, the turret's already out of steel.
and maybe we should have just went for the spitter and we have anecdotes in case if some people got bit we might have to do that next time if there's one that has a lot of waves we're probably gonna have to rush it and then if we do get bites we just cure the bites yeah the spitter is also perfectly accurate yeah it's just absolutely bullseyes still four more jesus you see how the when it's shooting this way it lands right on top of them go on a dingo welcome in mood's getting pretty low as well and are you almost done we saw one of these with even more. My goodness. Come on. <laughs> How many? I mean, are you shooting in a wave? Okay, last wave. It's leaving. Let's go. Let's see what we can salvage. A mess. Major break. Yeah, we're working on it. There's so many in the base. Yeah, it's like 15 or 20 zombies per wave. Crazy. We're gonna have breakdowns really soon. Well, at least the whole base didn't burn down. Thanks to the holes in the roof. Uh, there's a lot of big zombies somewhere. And there's no batteries, so we can't use the shocker either. Okay. Oh, wait. It just hit zero threat. They're dying. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wow. All right, they're all dead. <sighs> Thankfully, the zero threat day just happened to be right after that. Uh, all right, we got to clean this big time. There's going to be so many breakdowns. Okay. Oh, uh, God, look at this place. Look at this one. Do not cook. Do not cook. <laughs> It's a the barracks is a little dirty. Barracks are a little dirty. Okay, so first thing first things first, we gotta get this barracks cleaned up. And then we gotta rebuild those walls. Um we have a sooth bolster down here. This might be a good time for it. Can I make it down? Yeah, it's zero percent right now. Uh who's happy enough to make it down there? Uh bald go. Sooth Polster, we need it. Clean, get up. This happened right after we were pretty low mood from the whole caravan incident. In the chat's mine. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Decoration of the base, flesh and morbid influence, touch of macaw. Mine while at 0%. I, there's no time. There's like... A couple of in-game hours and our mood is at an all-time low so i don't yeah there's no time for that no time for that uh zombies are already starting to come back God. 
that sucks, man. We finally got prisoners. Finally got prisoners, and uh, yeah. prisoners are gone. Corn improves. Needs to be more skulls. Eric is it awful. Clean, clean, clean. Don't worry about mood if you have engineered super soldiers that never get sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're really far away from that. We're tribals at just hit day 100. They're behind on everything. Mad rat. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Face full blood. Miss something. Yeah, we almost... I mean, maybe not almost lost, but... I mean, if we had a bunch of breakdowns, it could have spiraled. Uh, spitter. Spitter. So yeah, I think next time if there's a spitter that comes on the map already aggressive and it's high uh, waves, we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to tr try to rush it down and cure the bites. Maybe rotate the sword and kill some stuff. Maybe my phase is doing some heavy lifting right now, though. Yeah, we're already at one sixth of the way towards the planet getting destroyed. I thought I gave us like a lot of extra time, but all right, mood's starting to head in the right direction. Get that stuff repaired. Is greatly appreciated. Okay. Better watch. It's been nuts, yeah. And it's crazy how, like, easy it seems when nothing's going on. And then you have things like this happen. Imagine if that zombie, the exploding zombie that launched, landed on the mortars or something. Or landed actually in the barracks. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Those spitters are really crazy but we're just gonna have to try the rush down thing yeah if it happened during other events yeah a breach or something else happening yeah it's all calm and it goes straight to 11 yeah that's the way to put it uh mouth is even 20 months 20 months zombies don't fight mechs nope where's the challenge <laughs> thank you Malthus. Melee only, we get lots of infections. I have been wondering how the melee gods would do against this. So we might do another, we might do a couple of seasons of this where we do some different additional things like melee gods versus zombies. That would be kind of interesting. Mechs will fight the zombies. The zombies won't fight the mechs. Yeah. Zombies don't attack mechs. No. Uh, this stuff's not quite as important right now, so. Hey, remember when we tried to do that caravan? Boy, it wasn't that fun. It wasn't that fun. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Um. Turn this off for now. My heart and soul into that chair. <laughs> uh, Thomas, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Thomas. Very much appreciated. Brand new sub. Thank you, Thomas. Man, losing those prisoners really sucks. We were about to do these festivals, too. We might can squeeze one out. There's enough. The threat's not high enough right now. I think we can squeeze someone through if we get a joint event. Let's try it. Let's try it. And I don't know how good of a job the turret did. Oops. You will join us or die. Master. Good to see you. Uh, Thomas, thank you for the gift sub as well. Who'd you get? Uh, deference. Deference. Thank you, Thomas. Again. Come on, join a minute. Terrible. How about a mood hit instead? Yeah, it would just suck to have to go all the way there. We'd have to do, like, nutrient paste or something. Right. I have 
to do it. Come on. Give us a pawn. We were... Hey, we got one. All right, Manny. Manny, get ready to run. You spawn at one of the best places you could have spawned at. Nice. All right. What do we have here? Super immune, abrasive, and capable of dumb labor. He could become another crafter. We really need a, another crafter. Uh, if we get another one of those ships, there's a crafting trainer on there that would be excellent. All right. Nice. Nice. He's not going to have a gun for a while, unfortunately, or a good gun. An LMG. Oh, good lord. What is happening? Use an LMG. All right, let's get him a name. Isn't Manny a name? Uh, no. Not at all. Is his name Readums or Readams? No one knows. Me, least of all. So we are going to put them on crafting stuff. Let's try to get that. Uh, trying to get that up. All right. Did you up steel really fast? The turret? Yeah. Yeah. It did go through it all really quick during that. A okay, next event in six days. When's the next, uh, Next zero is at two and a half. And there's one at nine. Yeah, another decent miner too, yeah. Ah, uh, breacher zombie. What's wrong with you, puppy? Al nutrition. Why? Just go eat food. Which puppy are you? An unnamed puppy, okay. Sorry, tortoise. Sorry, tortoise. Uh, there's some zombies gathered down there too. Let's go ahead and go take care of them before someone tries to go out through that door. Nice headshots. They're not here. We're going to take care of. But yeah, when we get to the point where you have like infinite steel and infinite uh, components, if we can ever get there, then having turrets set up all around uh, would be really nice for those kind of things. That really sucks that it took out that Devil Strand. That stuff's been growing for like what, two or three seasons or something? Two, two seasons? Lost a lot of Devil Strand. We really need a friggin' trade ship. We got so lucky with trade ships right off the bat today and then basically haven't had any uh any since. Uh, we'll just leave that as is. Didn't get to use the shocker. We only have the one battery. Probably should turn this back on. Alright. Well, I think that's a pretty stable spot. I think I'm going to wrap things up. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what time it is. Um, You know, I'll go, I'll go till 6, I think. So maybe, I don't know. Uh, family's already at the door asking what we're doing for dinner. So <laughs> what's the thing in the corner? Which one? This one or this one? This is just a battery. This is a uh, zombie shocker, which expends all the battery buildup you have on that system to shock the ones. In the corner, that is our altar. Yeah. If you're curious why I have the altar in a little closet, uh, there's a command exclamation altar. Uh, hey. 
A train ship. Nutty transit. I eat dinner if I keep them waiting. Yeah. It's true. Uh, brain wiring, special limbs, yellow, yellow. For Christ's sake. Where is he? I'm trying to trade here. At least there's a sound, you know? Yeah, there's the link right there. Gojus impervious. Tox resist. Uh. The arm. Alright. They only have nine components. Nine components. I don't get that telescope. I start power down. It just hasn't been repaired yet. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any components or anything. So, it's just uh, just broken down until we get it repaired. Do I go ahead and trade some of this off for more silver? Nah, everything. Everyone trades for drugs anyway. So it would kind of be nice to have. Hmm. It feels like we should get the advanced components while we have the option because it's going to be really hard to go get them from traders this run. But I mean, if we scan enough stuff, we can just make our own. We got a long way to go. Yeah, all right. We'll just take the components. Always right there. Always right there. It's all your colonists off just one all. You know, we have to try to save everyone. Because the planet's gonna be destroyed, so. Your head is in the gutter. Oh, with how that was worded. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Alright, we got some components. Another one of those white zombies there. God, that's a uh, interesting way to go. First doing some work. Go there when you buy. I know. Yeah. Well, it's pretty close now, at least. Let's say white zombie. Yeah. <laughs> Not that one. Uh, turn these off as gathering spots. Okay. See the doors? Yeah, yeah, there are some doors nearby now. Okay. All right, all right. So... Ah, uh, it's because wet rock's working at that. Rock, what is your crafting skill these days? 11. Uh, if we if we turn him into a production specialist, we would lose out on some mining. Might be a good idea, though. Bug showed up. Yeah, yeah, we had an infestation in there earlier, actually. We actually need uh, probably two assault rifles. Uh, just the one to start is fine. All right. Well, um, I probably should wrap things up, honestly. That is a pretty good spot to stop, I think. We've uh, repaired the damages that were done. We managed not to die, even though it was a little crazy. Uh, we got a new pawn. So we're up to uh, 12 people that can actually fight now. So, no, I'm going to save it there before anything else happens. But, yeah, next time we get on here, we need to um, we need to finish the panic room, make it a real room. I'm going to have to have food in there. 
maybe we just yeah no i i don't think i'm gonna do nutrient paste but we need to make a little freezer in there and store some food maybe get some meat to make like package survival meals to shove in there we have to be careful though because anything that we put in there can be destroyed by bugs imagine an infestation happening while we're hiding from a spitter but yeah we gotta get that set up in uh fire foam another uh geothermal and we need to check this ancient danger in a few days we'll be doing some more festivals hopefully hoping to get new ponds we can get to like 20 ponds be in really really good shape but till then we're definitely in uh in some big uh big trouble if we get multiple of those events at the same time <laughs> 